My friend consistently posts shorts that get many thousands of views, but more importantly, he's just discovered a new way that he's used to get the viewers of his shorts over to his long form videos pretty damn consistently. For example, when Jordan first posted this video, as you can see in the first 48 hours, it did pretty terribly, but then Jordan posted a short here. And as you can see, it gave this video a massive boost in views relative to how many it had. That video then gradually gained traction until the algorithm took note here and the rest is history. Or there's this video, again, similar pattern, the first day or so didn't do very well, but then Jordan posted a short here and I mean, you can see for yourself what happened. Now Jordan's done this time and time again and the coolest part is he's offered to share his secrets with us here today. So Jordan, before we get into exactly how you did this though, tell us your story real quick because it's going to give people some really important context that will help them apply the knowledge that you're about to share. Uh, just like every kid growing up now, I've just always kind of wanted to be a content creator, be like the people you kind of watch on YouTube on a daily basis. The app that kind of got me started was YouTube because I was like, okay, everyone's on YouTube. They're going from YouTube to Hollywood. So I'm just going to try and be a YouTuber and make videos on my phone. So the very first uh, couple of videos I started working on were when I was in college, I started trying to make college tips and tricks videos. And then uh, the app TikTok came out. So I was like, oh. Everybody's talking about TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio, all these other people. So I made a TikTok account and I saw like the funny skits people were making. And I was like, I can make funny skits like that. So I started trying to make the skits like everybody else, but that really wasn't for me. So I started testing the waters, trying to see what could get me views. And I started making anime videos and one of them took off. So I started continually just making videos about anime. And now I have a TikTok account. I think I've posted over a thousand videos probably on anime and grown that account to 230,000 followers on there. So started trying to use that platform to take people over to other platforms such as my Twitch account, my YouTube account and all that other stuff trying to eventually one day maybe become a full-time content creator but if not at least have it as a side business. Now you're going to share your advice on how the people watching this right now will be able to replicate your results but first do you think that you're super special, unique or gifted or do you think that anyone can replicate what it is that you're about to reveal and get similar results on their own gaming channels? I definitely um, think anybody can do it. I haven't always just been this person that's like, I want to be on the camera. I want to talk. Like there are a lot of times I record the videos and I'll be like, oh, geez, like what are people going to think of like what I have on or like my foot's in this one? What are people going to say about my feet? And now it's gotten to a point where it's just like I've grown so much as a content creator just because I show up every single day getting in those reps. To, it's like I'm willing to post anything at this point and I just know at some point this is going to be a video that I look back on and I'm going to be like why did you ever think this video was a good idea I, I looked at probably like 30 plus videos from three years ago and I was like I don't know why I thought any of these were a good idea I'd never post this video it's just kind of exciting to know that that's where I was three years ago so where, where would I be at three years in the future if I think those videos were bad if I look at these videos now okay well let's get stuck into this so the first part of your strategy is creating short form content that actually gets views because without that you have no traffic to push across to your long form videos what are your best tips for that? So I would definitely say it's important that you learn from every single video that you're making. When I first started, if I got a video, got like 10,000 views, I'd be like, okay, why did this video get 10,000 views? Was it the sound that I used? Was it because it was trending at the time? Was it because a lot of people watched it all the way through? You need to really look at your videos when you're creating them and figure out why they're not doing good and figure out why the ones that are doing good are working and continually building off that. When I first started, I was like doing a hundred different things and I was trying to figure out do I like doing this is this what I like does this video do well and then I finally made an anime video that did well so then I made a part two to that video and a part three and a part four and by the time I got the part seven or eight they started getting a lot less views so I was like okay let's talk about something else within anime so let's talk about this that doesn't do well okay let's talk about this okay that did okay but let's change it up a little bit and then it does good and then you build off of that you just have to constantly be willing to learn from your mistakes and you also have to be willing to learn when you're doing something right and separate the two so that you stop doing the bad things and that you keep doing the things that are working for you. So like at what point do you think someone has enough data to actually analyze a video and gets genuine statistically significant information? The TikTok algorithm I've learned, the YouTube shorts algorithm, the Instagram reels algorithm, they're very good at figuring out what videos are good and pushing them to the correct audience. Like I said, I started my Instagram shorts account uh, like two months ago and it was an account with zero followers. I didn't tell anybody about the account. It was a brand new account. I posted a TikTok that went semi-viral. I think it had 50,000 views and I just got rid of the TikTok watermark and I posted it on my Instagram reels. And the very first video I posted on that brand new account, got I think it has 10,000 views on that video now. So once you start making good content, you will know, but you do have to go through 
making that bad content first until you figure out who's the audience that's going to be willing to watch the videos that you're making. If you're making videos that nobody wants to watch and you're consistently getting three views, it's probably because there's only three people that want to watch those videos. Typically, my rule of thumb is I give it like even more than I should sometimes, but five videos, if I do five videos in the topic, sometimes three, three to five is typically how many chances I'll give it, depending on if I like recording them. If I don't like making the videos, I'll typically give it three tries and I'm done. If I really like making these videos and I want it to work, I'll give it five tries, but I'm not gonna post the first video, then post the second video and do the same exact thing that I did in the first video. I'm gonna tweak the first, what I did the first time and try and make the work the second time. And then I'm gonna post it the third time and I'm gonna tweak what didn't work the second time and see if I can get it to work if I really don't enjoy it. But even then, at some point, if you get to the fifth time, you tweaked it, nothing worked the first five times, there might just be no one that's interested in what you're talking about. And I think that's one of the harder things that people have to realize that something that might be interesting to you is not always going to be interesting to somebody else. And I think that's the toughest thing to figure out. From a technical perspective, from like a, a scripting and editing perspective of these these pieces of short form content, particularly for YouTube shorts. Do you have any tips or tricks that, that you've found get extreme amounts of results? So if you can come up with a good series idea that does well, the way the algorithm works that if you make a second part, it's gonna get shown to the person that liked the first part. And if you make a third part, it's gonna get shown to the people that like the second and first part. So the, the longer you can kind of keep a series going without it dying out, I've seen that is going to get you some of the best results. Now, later we might share some more ways to create some killer short form content, but I've got to ask now, how do we create shorts that actually result in views for our long form videos? One of the strategies I've kind of had is making my short form content almost a promotional or like a commercial for the longer form content. So if you wanted to get someone to watch your long form content, I typically will post whatever I had for the long form content, whatever that idea was, I'll post it and then um, I'll give it two or three days just to kind of do its own thing in the YouTube algorithm. And then I'll start putting out the promotional video to try and get people towards it. That kind of gives you just a taste of what the long form video is like. But if you want to get the full experience, you're going to have to go to YouTube and watch the full video. And so I found that a video can be not performing well at all. It can be at a 10 out of 10. It can be at a nine out of 10. But once I post that promotional video for it, I've had videos go from having 10 views on my channels and being 10 out of 10s to I post a promotional video and I check it two days later and now it's out of one out of 10 and thousands of people have gone to watch it and it's got hundreds of comments on it. When I'm saying a promotional video, that is not a video with you like staring at your camera and be like, hey guys, go check out my newest YouTube video where I talk about how to make the best gun in Call of Duty. That is more than likely a video people will not want to watch. But if you did want to make a video and talking about like the best class or the best gun in Call of Duty, you would make a short form video that basically could stand alone as its own piece of content that doesn't feel like a promotion. So that's where you would want to make that video where you're like, I found the most broken class in all of Call of Duty. To make it, here's what you do. And then at that point, people would be interested in watching the video and be like, okay, like, let me see if this is a class that I've used or like, what is this class? I want to test it. So you can kind of give people like the attachments and you'll be like, okay, but then maybe you leave off one of the like most important pieces of it, almost like how you'd want to get someone to watch another YouTube video. You'd say, oh, but if you want to know what makes this class so broken, you'll have to go check out the full video and figure out what that is. Awesome. Well, let's quickly, before we wrap up, are there any other technical tips that you had that you wanted to share? When I make videos, I like to think of the hook before I even record the rest of the video. So I think, what is this video going to be about and how can I make the hook interesting enough to where I know what I'm going to say in the rest of the video, but how can I make the hook the most interesting part of the whole video all the way up until what I'm going to reveal. So if you're going to make a, a video talking about the best uh, perks or the best uh, attachments to have on a gun, don't make the intro the best attachments for this gun. Da 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 da. Cause at that point, some people will watch it, but that's not how you're going to get the most benefit and the most views out of making that video compared to if you said like, I'm going to show you the most broken class or if you put an emphasis on like how this game breaking gun in the game, like why is it game breaking? What makes this gun so good? I think really having that question that makes someone want to watch the rest of the video is what really is going to help your videos get a lot more views. And another thing that you can do to help your videos get a lot of views, if you notice people are watching your videos all the way to the end, you can almost loop the video so that they don't even realize that the video is an end so that it plays 
like it plays back if that makes sense me personally if you're gonna use all three like short form platforms that you can use just post it as many places as you can find that you have time to do so i don't even really make any changes i'll post the same video on my tiktok and i'll i have an app that i'll download it from and then it goes straight to youtube shorts and it goes straight to instagram reels and sometimes it'll perform just as good if not better and sometimes it just won't do numbers at all compared to the original one but i definitely think if you're going to take the time to do short form content make sure you're getting the most out of it since everything now is trying to do short form content instagram's doing it youtube's picked it up i definitely think you should just be posting it as much as you can so as many eyes can get on it Jordan, thanks so much for your time. For anyone who's interested, Jordan's links will be down below. But of course, Jordan's strategy is not gonna work for you if your short form content isn't getting thousands of views in the first place. So if you wanna go deeper on how to actually do that, click on the video on screen. It's gonna teach you basically everything you need to know to get the ball rolling.